So a couple days ago, I did a video on Double Isilin, the Dark Elven Ranger, after his buff in Punisher's Crypt B10. I was using him with uh, Lucian, Soth, and Fran, or both of them, plus Lucian, Soth, and Fran. Lucian's there to clear the waves. Soth was there to help all that continuous damage do double the damage that it would have done. And then Fran was actually there for two things, for sustain and also for her skill one is a triple hit attack age reduction, which gave the boss e extra turns. He would steal turns from the anytime he gets attack age reduced. Uh, he steals turns and it actually basically detonates the continuous damage because he steals a turn and then the continuous damage ticks down. So it was actually on purpose because Fran usually don't want in there unless you're running a continuous damage team where you want the boss to take extra turns, right? So the team was good, right? It was Lucian uh, to clear the waves, and then, like I said, the continuous damage for the mid-boss and the end-boss. However, having Lucian in there, Lucian doesn't really do anything in the end-boss, and it was like, okay, it was good, but it wasn't as reliable as it could be because in this day and age, we wanted as close to 100%. I was going to say 200%. As close to 200%. I was looking at the energy and it's triggering me. Uh, we want as close to 100% um, as humanly possible, right? Because auto farming, we don't want the run to fail like two, three runs into it. We want it to be consistent and succeed over and over and over and over again. So uh, I was playing around with it. And I'm like, okay, how can we actually make this? And generally for Punisher script B10, Lucian doesn't really do too much on the, on the end boss. So I was like... The easiest way, the easiest, cheesiest way to just get this to more reliable is to just swap out the Lucian for Vertiheal, of course, is going to do, it's going to be slower, but it's going to be more reliable, right? So we actually did that, and I was surprised at how little it actually fit. Like, it just kept running and not failing and running and not failing and running and not failing. And I'm like, yo, this gimmick team is not so much of a gimmick. I mean, obviously, continuous damage is really good. In Punisher script, I'm gonna actually sell these. I'm gonna show you some runs, because uh, that's the point of the video is to show you guys some runs. I always, do you guys go through the attack ones as fast as I, you don't even know how fast I go through them. I go through the attack ones so fast. The attack artifacts with the attack primary stat, I'm like always going through them. So uh, yeah, so this is. Deep in, I don't think I want this. Do I want this? I don't think I want this. Fantastic. So this is the runs for, look at this. We didn't lose any units. We didn't lose any units. We didn't lose any units. It's not the fastest uh, team, but it's pretty reliable. It's pretty, I mean, it's not pretty reliable. It's very reliable. It's very consistent. So we're going to, I'm going to show you guys uh, some runs. Let's actually go in there. In there. I don't know why I have to say stupid things like that. Let's go in there. Let's see actually uh, like this very close up what everyone's doing. I mean, it's, it's kind of doing the same thing as it was in the other video. It's just slower and more consistent because now... Look at all those dots. Because now we have so many more turns with the vertiheal, right? So, uh, so you guys can actually see this. And also what we're going to do... I wanted to show you, the, you guys this team because this is like... I don't think everyone wants to build double Isilin, but... It kind of gives you some food for thought as far as, like, if you're looking for reliable Punisher script teams. I know some people are going to be like, oh, just use this, just use that, just use Tricaro, just use Tri every <laughs> 2021. Uh, everyone's answer to everything is just use Tricaro. And there are some really good Tricaro teams, especially with the Fire Homunculus. That's what I use on the Europe server is Tricaro and Fire Homunculus. And it's a really good, because uh, he does a lot of continuous damage with the skill ones. It's just, it's a crazy good team. Um... But this is also, I'm just showing you guys other teams that also work here. Really nice continuous damage. As, as much as this was intended to be kind of, I mean, not intended to be a gimmick team, but as much as I was like, is this a gimmick team or is this like a legit team? The more I just tested it out with Vertigo, I'm like, this is a really good, this is like a really consistent team, right? So again, it's not the, fa it's, it's like uh, between, I would say it's generally in the 130 to two minute range. Well, you guys saw it because I, I showed the runs, so you guys saw that. I think we're gonna lose this uh, Elven Ranger, but even we, even if we lose the Elven Ranger, we should be fine, right? Because again, I showed you guys that it was, uh, it was doing just fine. So uh, one of the things which I mentioned in the other video, but maybe some of you guys didn't see it, is that um, with one of the boss's attacks, it can't be countered, right? So the Elven Rangers don't always revenge because one of those attacks they're not just not going to revenge on based on how his uh, how his skill is worded and how their passive is technically a revenge. 
technically that would be the exact that would be a revenge if someone hits your team and then you hit them back that's very clearly a revenge uh sorry it's late i lost my train of thought it's still the same run though uh let me show you guys same run same thing for the first one i didn't uh i just i just edited out me going uh in front of the camera so anyway team is great i want to show you guys this though i want to show you guys we'll take a we'll check back in on them uh, in a second. I want to show you guys because most people don't have double acillin. So basically we're going through and we're like, double acillin, guys, it works. And you guys are looking at me, you're like, that's, that's great, bagel. I, I, what, what, how does that pertain to, how does that help my life? I don't have two dark nat fours. Um, so thanks, thanks for that, buddy. Uh, that's not going to help me. So today we're going to take a look at Zabralta instead of the acillin as one of the, uh, he's got speed, crit damage, attack. No, not that. Uh, speaker Diver Attack. I just actually finished skilling him up. That's why I want to take a look at him today, because I just finished skilling him up yesterday. Uh, I skilled him up for something else, and then I was like, you know what? This actually works, or potentially could work, in the uh, the double Asylum team instead of one of the Asylums, right? So, uh, first skill, Firecracker Attack. The enemy with a bomb damage increases by 15% on each harmful effect on the enemy. Could be uh, useful. Uh, we don't have any defense breaks, though, do we? Yeah, we don't have any defense breaks. Uh, in the team, so unfortunately, not great there. Uh, but then we have two continuous damage skills. Uh, attacks all enemies three times with a loud bump. Each attack has a 25% chance to deal continuous damage for two turns. And the skill cooldown of multi firecracker will be decreased by one turn ev uh, whenever the enemies are inflicted with continuous damage. So this is potentially we get this quite a lot. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. And then we have the Meteor Bomb drops a Flaming Bomb to randomly attack the enemy four times. Each attack will inflict continuous damage for two turns. Immediately sets off the bomb if the enemy has bombs. Now, uh, we, we don't have a bomb team, so that's, he's not really going to get too much value out of that. But between continuous damage, continuous damage, and also he has an uh, accuracy leader skill, which really isn't going to matter. If, if we're trying to use the Vertiheal leader skill, it's really not going to matter that we have the accuracy leader skill here. But uh, this is potentially pretty good for a... Like, if we had a defense break on top of that, that would potentially be pretty good. So we have him on speed, grid damage, attack. Again, if we don't have a, a defense break, we really actually don't need crit damage. So we could have just gone for, like, speed, HP, accuracy. Should I switch him to speed? I kind of feel like I should switch him to speed, HP, accuracy, so you guys don't feel like you need him to be on speed, grid damage, attack. But if he's doing all his damage through continuous damage, it's irrelevant. Uh, if he has a crit rate, crit damage attack on him, if this is what you're using him for, for continuous damage. But at least the crit damage is nice to maybe do a little more damage to the waves of, uh, the waves of enemies. So let's, uh, check back in, check back, check back in on this one. I don't think we, I kind of want that because it's attack and attack, but, uh, yeah, we can just take a little bit, uh, go pop back in and see how these guys are doing. I'm actually going to end this battle though, um, because... Uh, we, ch we could check on how long the uh, the last battle was. Um, because we want to use uh, Zabralta, right? So, let's see. 146. Like like I said, it's between 130 and... Uh, not that we actually get anything we can use here. Between 130 and 2 minutes, right? So, again, didn't even lose anyone. I mean, we, even, even if we lose someone, it's perfectly fine. Like, if we lose one of the Elven Rangers. Um, and we actually... One of them still... Doesn't one of them need, like, an artifact? I think one of them is still missing an artifact. <laughs> one of them is still missing an artifact, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. And one of them was on shield. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm putting 100% effort into this. Anyway, let's uh, let's bring Zabralta in and let's see what he's got. I'm pretty excited to see, actually, how good Zabralta potentially is. I should have, like, done this 500 times before... I, I did actually run the other team, the double uh, Cillin, quite a bit, but uh, I haven't even tried this one yet, so probably should try it and try it and try it and try it before being like, hey guys, let's, uh, let me show you guys, uh, let's find out together. Sometimes people hate uh, finding things out together. Like, I was doing first, you guys don't care. <laughs> Bacon, you're gonna talk about something else that doesn't pertain to the video. Uh, yes, I was. Yes, I was, but I will spare you uh, all of that. So it looks like he's not really doing as much continuous damage as I wanted him to do. I mean, Asylum's doing crazy continuous damage. Sata's doing great continuous damage. There's some more continuous damage. Okay. But okay, it's not it's not doing bad. It's not doing bad. We'll we'll uh not timestamp. We'll time lapse it. 
we'll we'll cut it and we'll see we'll see how he does. Like we'll we'll test it out like this, and then we'll see. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> we'll see how it does after like ten runs. See if it's reliable and consistent and stuff like that, right? So multi firecracker does. He did some continuous damage. He didn't do a ton of continuous damage. All right, we got some uh, slows. Actually, um, that slow the elven ranger slow. I just I I use the tanky uh, the tankier elven ranger. Um, but the Elven Ranger slow is actually pretty nice against the boss. Yep, look at that. Boom, boom. And then Arrow Storm. And then more. Wow, he's doing so much. He's doing so. The Elven Ranger is still carrying. He really is still carrying everything. Okay. But yeah, you. Uh, okay, so it's looking. <laughs> Even just one Elven Ranger is pretty sick here. Okay. So Zabralta was doing good so far. 140. Let's see another run. And then let's, uh, as long as we see this other run go good, if, we, if, if it goes bad, then we can see, like, how it went bad. Like, what, what exactly happened. I do actually like the shield here, which I didn't realize. I didn't realize when this dungeon first came out that I even cared about shield too much here, but I kind of like shield here, actually. So, like, just one set of shield somewhere, right? Same, I, the same real thing with, uh, with Necro when it first started is, like, when it first started, I was like, okay, violent revenge. And then, like, you don't really realize it, but, like, shield is actually really good in Necro, too. I mean, now we realize it, but at first, we didn't really realize it. Continuous damage, continuous damage. Got the slow there. Slow is actually not bad. Also, sn uh, s snow. Slow in Necropolis is not bad, either. This is kind of, I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of similar. It's got a few similar mechanics to Necropolis. Like, can't really attack gauge reduce anything. But Vertiheal is good here, where Vertiheal is not great. Uh, Vertiheal is actually great here, and Vertiheal is not that good in uh, Necropolis. Aside from the multi-hits, he really doesn't do too much. So, couple similarities, but not a ton. Jeez. Jeez Louise. But I'm excited to see how good this potentially does. Alright, so we're taking some damage. Please tell me Fran has her... Nope, she doesn't. <laughs> Please tell me. Oh, look at all the damage. Look at all that continuous damage. The left tower is already done. We're just seeing how OP Asylan is here, actually. Fran's still not doing her immunity. Fantastic. Good job, Fran. Got some dots. Nice dots. Okay. And there's no left tower to cleanse them. So it's actually not doing that bad. There we go. Okay. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do a... And then we'll see... 147 seems to be about the same uh, the same time. So we'll see how consistent this is over the course of uh, at least 10 runs. At least 10 runs. Perfect timing. Went in the kitchen, made some food, came back. I come in the room right as it's finishing the last run and the boss is dying. So 10 runs down. Let's see. Well, I mean, I'm sure we got all garbage anyway. But let's see how many times one of them died. Did anyone die? I mean, we're seeing about the same time average. 139, 144, 135, 201. It's not super fast or anything, but it seems pretty consistent for what it is. 144, 218. So it's kind of interesting for those of you that don't have a uh, Punisher Script B10 team just yet or are struggling with Punisher Script B10. You're like, I, can't. I know people are just going to, the, the whole comment section is going to be like, just build Tricaru. Just build Tricaru Bagel. Someone tell Bagel, just build Tricaru. Like this comment so he sees. I... YouTube. Seven, almost seven years of this, guys. Almost seven years of this. Do I want this? Uh, you know, maybe I could have kept that. Maybe I could have kept that. I Maybe I... Eh, defense problem. Whatever. Anyway, I, we kept so many of them. The point is that this is a reliable team. Even though it's not a fast team, it's a reliable team. So, uh, two different teams, uh, two very similar teams, continuous damage based. Uh, we'll try out some different stuff in the future, but I wanted to see how Zibralta would work with the. And I, I wanted to see how Zibralta would work, and I also wanted to show you guys uh, that the Asylan has been performing very well, right? Again, not fast, but he's been performing pretty well. It's been. Pretty well. It's been performing very well. It's been very consistent. I shouldn't say pretty. 
Because when I say pretty well, you guys are like, oh, does he mean 30% win? That's not 30. Pretty well is not 30% win rate. Uh, it's been performing extremely reliably. The Asylum team. We'll test this one out some more. I'll do some more uh, runs after this. And we'll test it out some more. But so far, seems so good. Right? So anyway, uh, that's for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you guys uh, get some use out of it. Maybe you guys are just like, oh, it's interesting food for thought. I'm not going to build it because Tricaru, Tricaru, Tricaru. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this one. I'll see you as always in the next one.